Welcome to Giddy Up and it's Magic Millions this week in Australia but let's get started in the UK first. The Up The Ante service, absolutely superb, lay one to liability. This week 45.15% return on investment, doesn't it get much better than that? And you're in control, you're the one sitting behind the counter, you're the bookie, you're standing taking the bets for the, in your Betfair account. Absolutely superb. Linfield, Sea of Charm, second, 2.41. We've got Beat by Al Ali Rose at air. That was a, a sore one to take, to be honest with you. Mascoot, two point odds. Beat that one as well. D Machine, we got that one beat as well. Superb. Totally charming odds on 1.48 or something like that. It was. That's the ones you want to get beaten. That's the ones you wait for. I think that one was at Subtle. Excel and beat us. Ran a good race. Can we take it away? And yesterday, Neptune Legend, another nice winner for us. So, what a nice wee week with a wee bit, uh, a, wee, a few great uh, second places and unplaced ones in there. Great to watch. And what about the Aussie money map? That was even better. Uh, Warwick Farm, I think we went 6 out of 7 for the um, coaching clients. Absolutely superb. 1.73, 5.1, 3.63. 3.35, 36 to 1 using Betfair, superb, that was uh, Marnix, no that wasn't it, it was Trajection, uh, and then we had 4.48 and we had a second place that could have got us through the card, Silent Agenda was second at 11.5, that would have been an absolute cracker for us if we had got that one in, but we're delighted with the points we won there, that was a superb day, and then the Pony Up service that we've got running in the UK, Southall just went mad, the Tron 4.9, uh, back from Dubai, 12 to 1, Dubai Elegance, 8.17, top time, 9.39, what a, what a subtle meeting we had, so all the service is going great, so if you're a backer or you're a layer, get involved through the card, if you're wanting backing and laying, pony up if you want back in, and up the ante if you're just wanting to lay, superb, let's get started on Aussie, we're going to go straight over to the favourite races, because that's been quite popular with you, and the top I'll give you six because we've got 17 runners in one of the races today, so we're going to go with Doombin. Uh, race six, 12 runners at the present moment, they always change, that's a bad thing about doing it a day before, and the Aussies seem to uh, have a lot of withdrawals on race day, so, but as I say, uh, Doombin race six, most popular race uh, for the favourites on a Saturday tomorrow, and the favourites around about two just now, the moral I think it is, so that'll be hard to beat, and that should be the most popular one. Then we've got Blisk and Rose Hill race six, eight runners there now, so Tommy Sherry's on that one, and that's around about three odds just now. Then you're going to Rose Hill race three, the third strongest racer on for Saturday, but we've got 17 runners. Might get a bit of value, Banjo looks like it'll be the favourite in that race at the present moment. And then the next one, can't go wrong at Flemington, race four, that's your fourth most popular favourites race for this Saturday. Doombin race four, we're going to go with Atlantic Eagle, that should be the Jolly, um, 2.8, uh, currently with the tab, but you can't go with the prices now. Uh, Betfair will take over and, and give you the real price soon. And Rose Hill race seven, the last one of the six, eight runners, the ballpark, it's running about two, Josh Parr on board. So that's your six top favourite races for Saturday. You've got Doombin race six, Rose Hill race six. Rose Hill race 3, Flemington race 4, Doombin race 4 uh, and Rose Hill race 7, that's your top ones, 17 runners in the Rose Hill race 3, that's why I gave you an extra one in case you're wanting to throw the jollies in with a, maybe a 5 bet type uh, race, now the 3 races that I would be and I would think would be value the favourite races are Rose Hill 6, Flemington 4 and Doombin 4, so if you put a wee line on with the jollies there I think you'll get some sort of return, now I'm going to give you a wee bet for Flemington because Flemington, we've been red hot there, and uh, we quite we love that track to be honest with you. Um, it's just superb when you go down to Melbourne now, what a day it is, uh, and, and night to be honest with you. <laughs> so here we go with Flemington, Jamie Carnifer, she's going to get a place on Maxi Millius, Maxi Mil Millis. So that'll be a place in the first race with Jamie on it. Michael D in the third race at Flemington, place again under my spell. And then we're going to go to Flemington Race 8. Josh Rich has a lot of runners in this one, I think. But Convict Sam should be a good price for us. And that's the one we're going to go in the win market. We're going to go all in with that one. And in the last race, we're going to go with Mr. Coffee and, uh, on the place, and that's Pick a Rune. So that's your four. Uh, Maximilius for a place. Uh, Under My Spell for a place. Convict Sam for a win. And Pick a Rune for a place. Now, jumping over to the Gold Coast, 
that's uh, the big magic millions. What I, I, I'm usually on the Gold Coast uh, with the Betfair event and everything down there. We, they usually do the Thursday night cocktail party and then on to the Saturday at the casino. It's an absolutely superb time. It's like a, a pilgrimage there every year. And we didn't manage to get down this year with a couple of things happening. It's so busy. It's just everything's just taken off of the site and we've made a lot of changes. So um, there's a new service coming on. It's just absolutely brilliant. Racing, pro tactics racing. You just get ready to be on board if you've done the coaching because that's just going to be the complete portfolio for betting. So anyway, into the Gold Coast. We've got Devil's Throat in the first race uh, to get a place for J-Mac. We're going to have a wee bet in here. Uh, Gold Coast, uh, the third race, Wapiti. And we've got Taylor Marshall. She'll get a place in that race. She's a good Queensland rider, so she'll be down there getting the money for us. Gold Coast, race eight, Tommy Berry. We're going to go with a win on that one. 22 runners though, so beware. And in the last race, Steph Thornton, the ever-reliable, great. She always gets his money on a Saturday. We're going to go with her and 16 runners in that race, so we're looking for a place from her. So there's four for you at the Gold Coast. We're going to go with Devil's Throat, J-Mac in the first for a place. Wapiti for a place with Taylor Marshall. Jamai for to win the race with Tommy Berry on board, 22 runners. Steph Thornton on Miami Flies in, uh, for a place in Gold Coast 9. Now you've got a big race. Brilliant, I've got some, I took some money down there, sitting with a few good punters, those are really strong punters and if they've got one they fancy they'll give you a, they'll give you a bet, I remember laying somebody, I think it was 11 to 2 and they were wanting to have 5 grand on, as soon as I took the 5 grand they wanted to have another 5 grand on, so we took that as well, we managed to get it beat, but missed the draw that year so I was delighted and it ended up second, but still we took the money and that's what the main thing is, uh, and 21 runners, and I'm going to go for a couple of high draws here, perfect mission, Andrew Mallon, um, a big high draw but let's just hope he can get over it and Golden Arty for Steph Thornton's boyfriend Ben Thompson let's hope he can get the money big prices he'll both be in the 20s but Cool and Gatta can J-Mac get beaten Cool and Gatta probably not but um, it's pretty short but that race is usually last year as you, it was held up because it was a uh, petrol spillage on the motorway and then it ended up winning I think it got disqualified and all that so carry on but the Gold Coast great, great incentives down there they've got the, the sales all week this week and all the, the, the horses have just gone through the sales and you look at it and you think to yourself why is Britain so far behind? You've got a uh, um, syndicate races have put up next year for a million pound in prize no wonder there's guys down there putting their money together and buying horses and trying to get them qualified for next year you get a million pound if you win the race uh, and just the incentives are great and, and in Australia they've got the Everest they've added and there's other races getting added and their whole um, festivals are really a spot on everybody goes dressed up they're well mannered when you get to the tracks there's uh, obviously you get the usual uh, ones that get reeking boats and, and too drunk but they're all well dressed in Australia and, and it's a great day and I think the standards have just dropped a wee bit in the UK of course we've got bad weather in the UK and it's great weather to go dressed up in Australia but I just think um, the old sherry drinkers and stewards and that and they've missed the boat of these old fashioned things tradition's great but you've got to move, you've got to use your initiative and start putting races in Britain that are going to change, we're not just waiting for Royal Ascot all the time let's get some different uh, initiative out there and put different races in Cheltenham Festival, superb we've got that, you'll never replace that but there's other times that you could be putting things on up in Newcastle for example and the fighting fifths I think they're the race up there let's put something else up in the north so people are travelling if you're doing south up to the north for the long weekend things like that so that's us for this week and always remember it's your money, it's my money, it's everybody's money have respect for everybody that bets in Betfair for the winners and the losers and I'll speak to you in next week's video